hi guys welcome to the sfc classes tech for getting the latest video update from my channel you have to subscribe my channel and also the press the bell icon sale and sale organelles how many types of the cell found in living organism there are two types of the cell found in the living organism first one is plant cell and third uh, second one is the animal cell plant cell is found in a plant and animal cell in found in a animal the which instrument had you use in use to observe the cell so compound microscope had uh, been used to observe the cell so if you have learned all the cell and their components in 7th class you have to just remember and tell us the which component present in animal cell and which is present in a uh, plant cell the first uh, let's we discuss the first one is a cell membrane cell membrane is present in a, both the cell and cell wall is present in a animal cell and absent in a animal cell uh, so plant cell uh, the vacuoles present in both the cell, uh, Golgi complex it is also present in both the cell, mitochondria it is also present in both the cell. Mitochondria it is the powerhouse of the cell, it provides the power to the cell. The component of the cell, first one is the cell wall. So what is the cell wall and how it work and what is the function of the cell wall? It is found around the cell of the algae, fungi and the plant animal cell does not have a cell wall cell wall is an elastic and a strong coat around the cell membrane it is mainly uh, composed uh, of carbohydrates like a cellulose and pectin the function of the cell wall are support and to protect the wall by the preventing the entry of the excess water in a cell this is all about the cell wall plasma membrane of cell membrane it is a thin fragile and elastic covering that separate the cell component from the outer environment so cell component which is the cell components so these are the cell components cell membrane cell wall the vacuole golgi complex and mitochondria it is separated by the uh, the plasma membrane uh, from the outer environment the structure of the plasma membrane the protein molecules are embedded in the layer of the phospholipids the plasma membrane is said to be a selectively permeable uh, members as uh, it allows some substance to enter the wall and while they prevent the other substance it is a permeable it it's allow the some of the liquids to enter and avoid the some of the liquids due to the, uh, due to this property the useful molecules of the water salt and oxygen enter the cell wall and co2 carbon dioxide uh, carbon dioxide exit the cell wall so it has a um, most important property that is the permeable due to this the the useful components uh, useful molecules like water salt and oxygen are enter and some of the uh, not important uh, components co2 exit the cell wall if any changes occur outside the cell wall the cellular environment does not change due to the plasma membrane this condition is uh, called called as a homeostasis very interesting uh, this uh, the structure of the cell wall you can see here the middle lamella is uh, upper green you have see the primary uh, cell wall is it contain the hemicellulose pectin cellulose and microfiber soluble proteins and the plasma membrane plasma membrane it is a uh, permeable the can you tell us so we have to learn that how do substance travel in the cell so there are the two type of the process the first process consume the energy cell energy and the, the second one don't consume the energy the first is the endocytosis endocytosis means the it accept the outer material in the cell from the outer environment uh, like uh, foods uh, water etc and the uh, exocytosis means they excrete the waste material out of the cell so bo both are the process are uh, consume the cellular energy 
and the process uh, those uh, don't consume the cellular energy those uh, those uh, process are the diffusion diffusion means the entry or exit of the small molecules like uh, uh, oxygen or carbon dioxide like this uh, the molecules when traveling to, uh, from uh, outer to uh, inner and inner to outer it don't consume the energy and then the osmosis osmosis means the traveling of the water due to its gravity we can say the traveling from the water from part one water to the part with the less water through the selective permeable membrane is osmosis it is a physical process with three possibilities so there are the three uh, possibilities are given while the liquid is traveling from the uh, higher level to the Le um, low level